Good morning, YouTubers. We've made it back to the beach for the second day here at Beach Sprints World Finals. Little bit of some interesting rumors going around with the weather, how it's been. We're not really sure how the schedule is going to look today. We've got a schedule that we're going to try and stick to. And then we're going to see if we do stick to it. So we're prepared for delays like yesterday, but currently we're going to be racing in the morning. The weather right now is looking okay. The biggest thing, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see, just about here, there's that shelf that I've been talking about, especially in the last video, where the waves come back and it can throw the boats up, whether you're getting in or out of the water. And it can easily create quite a unsafe environment it may look cool, but unfortunately, it can be pretty dangerous. So, just waiting on confirmation of things. But we're going to stick to the schedule, how it is initially planned. And like I said, we're going to be prepared for any changes. But regardless, we deal with the cards we are dealt. And if we do get onto the water, we're just going to go as fast as we can. As the junior men's singles head off, you can see the conditions are a lot more manageable than they were yesterday. So, the schedule is going ahead as it initially was planned to, so that's very good. Just keeping our fingers crossed that the conditions stay like this, so that all the races can go ahead like they were planned. For now, for us, we chill out, and then we get ready to warm up for our race. I think it's after the singles and as I was mentioning yesterday I had a little bit of an issue holding on when the blade was getting wet so being fresh new handles we're roughing them up a little bit to enhance the grip as we hopefully come flying up and down the course warm-up complete Weather still looking reasonable and safe. So now, there's a little bit of a gap when we're doing the coastal racing, coastal beach sprints racing, to organize everything on the boat prior to the race. So you have to warm up quite a bit before the race, something that's not quite the same as on the flat water. And especially, you don't get to warm up in the boat prior to the race, you just get in and go. So you have to be ready to go on the land to be ready for the water. So that's what myself, Heather, Charles and Rosa are ready for. Now it's time to get on to the water now, do a side-by-side -side race against Japan. Two, no! 
Street for us. Second race done. One against Japan. A couple of things to get better at. I felt like I felt better. Second race done. Thanks to Japan for the good race. Got my honey. Get a little bit of sugar in post hard effort. I felt like effort wise, rowing wise. <laughs> that was that was better. Uh, don't know what the speed was. But we're giving it some, making the changes from yesterday. And I think we've still got a couple of things to change. Turn wasn't so hot, good, but not so hot. And a couple of mistakes on the way back. But it's completely different to yesterday where we've got a beach finish and we've got a different condition. So it's not just a case of riding a wave back. It's flat enough where there's not enough swell really unless you get really lucky to pick up the boat for you and make it lighter. So really felt like I was able to work properly in that one. Next one, we're just going to keep picking the, the progress up and just hauling on it. Uh, how the schedule's currently planned, assuming the conditions stay similar, we've got a nice big break now until the quarterfinals, where I'm not sure who we race yet, depends on the results of these races, but I'm looking forward to the next race. So now it's a big break. Assuming the schedule is all the same until the next race or the next race sees where it's just back to back to back knockout stages instead of big breaks in between. So quick warm up, keeping the fuel going because remember food is fuel. And then we get ready for the next week. And since we did so well in our race, it's time for a little bit of an interview while we wait for the bus. We have Team GB following their win against Japan. Congratulations, team. Um, Rosa, I'll start with you. What is it? And interview done. Time to fuel up, because remember, food is fuel. <laughs> And we're back to the beach for the next round of the World Beach Sprints Finals 2024 in the quad. It's going to be against Germany. It's going to be a tight race. We're going to really enjoy it. Schedule looking good. Weather looking good. Now for us, just like we did this morning, we warm up, we get ready to get onto the water and go as fast as we can. So let's do it.
spoke about the Great Britain team earlier, so much experience. Uh, Charles Cousins alone, you know, such an accomplished, uh, not only Olympian, but also coastal endurance and beach sprints as well. But Ryan Glimmond there, the Cox for Great Britain, we saw him earlier with a flyer of a sprint and it gave them that advantage that they needed in the earlier round. So here he is gearing up, getting himself in the zone here. Uh, you can see him very low to the, uh, to the, he's actually squatting down on it to, or lunging down on it to the beach there now. So he's getting himself completely in the zone. He has a very, very important job here now up against Germany. He's a very fast sprinter. We saw that in the uh, the opening round of 16. That is where his skills and experience really come into their own. One of the fastest sprinters that we've seen here on this beach. And uh, the uh, German, a very, very different stance. You can just see really taking this seriously here. Ryan Gleamond of Great Britain. Look at him go. He is just electric. But I think it is Germany who got there faster. Germany's Cox just uh, stumbling off the seat slightly, but he definitely had a bit of a faster run. Uh, Giuseppe De Vito uh, Raphael there. They are off to a flyover start. We're seeing that wash from that earlier ship who was saying hello to us. Um, so a little bit of a bounce here now but I think after that oh Germany's blades getting caught up on that first marker throwing them off slightly Great Britain flying out here now just getting themselves ahead as they head around that second marker oh that was uh, yeah a little bit of uh, dramatics from Germany getting caught up is not where you want and uh, the Cox just throwing themselves in you mentioned Giuseppe DeVito there went head first into the boat but you've got to be able to steer using those steering wires otherwise it's absolutely no use being in that seat you're just a weight for the rest of the crew to pull along so you need to get yourself in and on those steering wires and here we go we've hit that last turning point now and and uh, Great Britain have snuck ahead. Great Britain have absolutely snuck ahead. Germany took a really good approach. They started backing very early, but look at them once again, that lane on the right-hand side, veering way, way over. They're coming right up towards Great Britain here, but Great Britain powering it out here now, uh, doing a super here. Um, we're seeing that style from Charles Cousins, staying nice and low in the boat, uh, head down, but so much power off his blades. So much power. They're quite wide off the mark, but uh, they also experience that big push that the Germans are feeling as well from lane two. Everyone getting pushed across in the waters here, and it will be the job of Ryan Gleamond to pull them back onto course. They're about one boat length up here, and it will be Rosa Thompson that has the uh, job of getting herself in towards the beach. We saw the technique from Great Britain earlier. She pulled her blades in about three strokes from the line to prepare, and here she here goes she again. She's doing that same technique. Let's see if it works out for her. Oh, that worked out. She stopped even sooner that time, about five or six strokes. She stopped pulling, pulled in the handles, and here she goes. She knew there was enough power in the boat to keep going that allowed her to head out of the boat, get in ahead of Germany, and book their spot in to the semi-finals. So that will be Great Britain there, booking their spot into those semi-finals. <laughs> go is, yeah, turn, go. It's pause, yeah. yeah. And you too? Yeah. As soon as you go and pass, that's one. Have the name it, yeah? Yeah. You just need yeah. this once, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Finish it off, that knockout round with the win against Germany. Great race, better out there, better getting things done. Just have to keep stepping on to the next race. It's getting hot, and the race is just going to get tighter and tighter, so we just have to keep, keep the foot on the gas. given the news of this entering into LA. But uh, the instruction now for boats to be put into the water. You can see that uh, the bow three just uh, entering into their seats, making sure they are ready to row. And uh, the stroke seat, they have to have at least one person outside of the boat. Um, they can't have all four members in. And that's the stroke seat for both of these crews, Great Britain and Spain. There is Great Britain's Cox, Ryan Guillemont getting ready. He'll be lining up alongside Rafael Giuseppe DeVito for Spain. 
Yeah, I think it would just be a bit too deep for those bow three to try and jump in. You know, we often see water starts in the endurance and the beach sprints, obviously. Um, and it can be, it, it's just there's such a slope in this beach that it would be very deep for the bow person to have to try and jump in in that uh, minute hooter. So at least they're sit sitting in the boat ready to go. They can keep the bow straight. You know, they can be keeping an eye. The boat handlers can tell them to pull on one side as the cox is running down here now. They, these are very evenly matched. We saw them both really, really fast in their respective races earlier on. But you can see legs dangling again here. <laughs> yeah, DeVito, that's a quite a style for him, actually. <laughs> those legs trailing uh, in the stroke seat there for Great Britain. We mentioned Cam Buchan earlier, a very strong and tall athlete uh, who uh, has had success on the indoor rowing machine as well as flat water rowing, trying to complete the trilogy here with coastal rowing as well. And uh, short, sharp strokes for him must be reasonably hard to, to to uh, attain he's a very tall athlete uh, and uh, trying to get the rest of this crew to follow him backed up by heather gordon in the three seat charles cousins rosa thompson leading out spain uh, and kirsten fenning in the stroke seat for spain setting that rhythm for them and pulling them up alongside gb here they are not out of this race yet absolutely not speeds it is a spain who are a little bit faster here at the moment but great britain got to that turn for us but spain are flying around that turn they are going that bit wide they just kept pulling whereas great britain tried to put on the brakes a little bit to try and stay a bit tighter so great britain have a bit of a straighter line to the beach spain are going wider but spain are going for it here they are upping it they know they're going to have to pull uh, great so yeah you can see great britain here sitting up nice and tall really fast with the rates here now uh, it is definitely Great Britain with the straighter line here. Spain's trying to overturn here now to try and get that straight line into the beach. Yeah, they're going to have to adjust back inwards. They took that more sweeping turn. Great Britain more of the handbrake turn, but we are level coming in towards the beach here. Rosa Thompson, we know, is a good sprinter. Are they going to leave it a bit later this time, given it's a much closer race? We'll have to wait and see. What's Elisa, what is the, uh, the bow seat for Spain going to do here? Nadia Felipe Garcia, she had that trick in the quarterfinal. Is she ready once again to try and regain that balance? She looks across over her shoulder. Rosa Thompson is starting early. She gets up out of her seat at least six strokes before the line. She's already on the beach and starting to sprint here against Nadia Felipe Garcia. And it is going to be Great Britain that reached that buzzer. Both still remain on their feet over to the line. But uh, it was Thompson of Great Britain there that uh, does the job to get them into the A final to fight for the gold medal. Something that they said was very much on the books and on their plan to go better than last year. Oh, tough one, hard. Waiting on the B final going off now as we're waiting for the A final. The final of World Beach Sprints Final 2024 against the Netherlands over there. And France off in the B final now. Here is the slate for the gold medal match, the Netherlands and Great Britain going here. They could come home with a gold medal here. Runners on, ready to go. Very athletic start mm. we've always seen from him mm. lining up here. Very different to a lot of the other coxes lining up on the start line. This would be though, as I say, the first medal for Great Britain since 2019 in this category. That's guaranteed, like we say. The Netherlands never ever medaled in this event, so making history already, but what colour will that medal be? Will it be a gold medal? And here we go, the diagonal line sprinted out towards the oh. beach, great from our drone shots. Oh my word, Duke of Feta, horizontal, head first into that boat, and she has adjusted quite remarkably here to get herself back into that Cox's seat. I thought she was going to go head first over the side. What a recovery from her. Hopefully that didn't shake her too much, but it did. The rowers were able to, well, you know, they got out anyway. They weren't able to, or they didn't have to slow down. Great Britain definitely took advantage of that start. They're out ahead, but look at how tall the Dutch are sitting up here, not lying back at all. They're nearly leaning forward at the finish. I think they're having a little bit of problem. You can see better. They're looking over at the, the the uh, stern there now, but they are pushing ahead here. You can see the amount of weight coming off that, uh, off their steering rudder. I don't know if they've got something core or the wires are just a little bit crossed, who knows? Better seems to be uh, head first though and looking straight on now. Maybe they've sorted it. It does look a lot better. Great Britain hit the turning mark first. Here they go, around we go. Very staccato, very short, very punchy from GB. And Thompson, Cousins, Gordon, Buchan and 
Clement will go into the lead into this second leg but here come the Dutch and on this leg this is where the the wave reading the wind this all plays a part much more heavily in this second half of the race as they come in with the tide. Fetter doing something I haven't seen before she was putting her left arm into the water around that boy hoping to help swing that boat as well as the oars that were in the water but let's see can they get back in with GB it is GB who are ahead at this stage they're heading for that final marker it is team GB followed by Netherlands it's going to come down to the wire at the moment it is going to be Rosa Thompson looking like she's going to hit that beach first but we know Netherlands have a big big fast sprint yeah the Dutch closing that clear water gap now it was clear water but that is being eaten away here by the Dutch who are trying as they might to get onto this beach but Rosa Thompson for the third and final time today will hit the beach in the lead she is going to get to this buzzer for the first time for Great Britain in the mixed cox sports quads it's going to be great Great Britain for gold and uh, the Netherlands the first medal ever that they will take home from this beach sprint finals in this Cox Quad event will be silver this event um, you know sadly for them finishing out of the uh, out of the semi-finals even but here we are <laughs> joint celebrations joint we? celebrations we love to see it and there we go World Beach Sprint Finals gold medal we're going to do the ceremony later Winning against the Netherlands, really good race. Thank you to the Netherlands for the race and the race ourselves. Could be really proud of that one. Gave it some big ones, unfortunately. Construction Cup wasn't working for the last couple of races. So hopefully, fingers crossed, the footage that you saw was from World Drawing, but I don't know. We'll see after this. But right now, we've got Francis in the background. Don't know if we're there. there. We're going to do some anti-doping, so we're going to be in a cup. Part of the process. We're making sure that the sport we do is clean. So happy to do that. But it's just a lot of extra things, documents to make sure are all correct. Post racing when your head is all over the shop. That's why we have someone with us to make sure everything's doing right. But now, let's do that. And then we'll be able to have a little bit of a breather. And that's the anti-doping testing complete. Just, like I said, better to do this, have a clean sport, make sure everyone's in the same playing field. Now, we get to enjoy the event as it is, finish racing for today, and now for the medal ceremony. And before we get to the medal ceremony, we've got Zav and Hal. Zav's been really an integral part of the team with making sure we all are fueled up post-racing, we get all our stuff organized and Hal as well, giving us the shoves of his life, getting us off the start line. So, thank you very much guys, much appreciated. We're all getting ready to go up here to get our medals. Cheers. And Charles has brought us some chocolate milk as we wait for the medal ceremony, and Perry and family are here as well. So, just waiting a little bit longer. <clears throat> Voice is gone a little bit, and then the medal ceremony. Great Britain! <laughs> the mixed cox quadruple skulls winners for the 2024 World Rowing Beach Sprint Final. The medal will be presented by. Il presidente del comitato organizzatore locale, Marco Godero. The gold medal and 2024 World Rowing Beach Sprint Champions. Vincitori della medaglia d'oro e del campionato del mondo 2024. Great Britain! Great Britain represented by Great Britannia rappresentata da.
It's sticky. So that'll be it for today's episode, Jam Squad. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Just got the medal for the mixed quad at the World Beach Sprints Finals 2024. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button. If you aren't subscribed already, I'd really appreciate it if you should subscribe. Now on to the next thing. Probably head of the Charles, and I'll see you there. Oh, you yeah. like and subscribe. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the last name is definitely from Scotland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>